Hello comrades, we're going to the malls today and I will show you where to buy the goods, what is the difference between the malls and also I will show you the hugest networks of convenience stores over here in Bali. Let's roll! And the first huge mall we're going to visit today, it is here for, it is located on the Sunset Road. I will leave all the coordinates below this video. So this is one of the hugest malls here and it is very convenient. It has a lot of stores and a lot of and a huge grocery section on the upper floor. So let's go there and I will show you what it is. The first floor of Tier 4 is devoted to the food court, banks, uh, another cafe. So today is a uh, um, Christmas Eve, so people are preparing for the Christmas. You can find some restaurants here uh, and entrance to the parking, plus some ATMs. This moment, we're going to the second floor. Second floor is a kind of a food court, so if you want to have a snack or you need to go to the pharmacy, this is your answer. You can also buy some sports meals here. And now we are going to the next floor and it is devoted to the groceries. Unfortunately, we cannot go inside and check the prices, so the security will not let us pass with the camera. But I will give a brief overview of this huge mall. And you can see that there are a lot of different goods here. You can buy whatever you want. And also, it is quite convenient. They also have their own bakery their own wine cellar, as they call it. So, welcome to Care 4. So, long story short, Care 4 is a typical mall if you want to buy groceries, if you want just to simply browse around, just to window shopping or whatever. Start with a Care 4. It is very convenient and has a lot of features uh, inside. So. You can buy some furniture, you can buy the pottery, you can buy uh, grills, you can buy the fire starters, you can buy the food, you can buy the fruits, and so on and so forth. A lot of stuff actually is, is, is here. So if you will be on the Sunset Road and you don't know where to start your shopping, start with a Care 4. And we're going to the next mall. Bam! The place we're going to, this is our second place for review, it is called Trans Studio Bali, that is the correct name, Trans Studio Bali. So, it is a huge mall also, it also has an underground parking, it also has a lot of peculiarities inside of it. The main trouble right now is to get on the territory of this mall, because you can see the traffic and what is going on, and we need to slightly, like, squeeze through the crowd, stand by. So you actually can see this is a huge mall and a huge entrance. They offer a valet service. There is a guy with a signed valet. So, but we don't need it. We're going directly to the uh, parking, uh, into the basement. What we see here, we see two machines which are letting us through. So we also need to, in this case, well, simply lean the, la uh, the hands yeah, to, to the scanner. And here we go, but we have a traffic yeah, jam here. Sure. Thank you. Silakan masuk. Silakan, silakan masuk. Please go on. Yeah. And today is a Saturday night. Malam Minggu. Right? Yeah. So, and there are a lot of people. And you can see that actually the parking area. So, it's all sweat because of the rainy. So, a lot of people are parking here. And we will go. What do you want? Uh, and we will go down, downstairs. this minus second floor and we can find a parking place here but it's also packed up oh my god i've never seen so many people.
it's on the ground on minus second floor so minus first ground floor there is a grocery store also a huge uh, hyper mall with the groceries so today's goal is actually to show you the most popular uh, malls with the grocery stores and about the closing i think i will make a separate video about it if you will like it if you'll put in enough likes but yeah uh this moment at this moment in this video i'm showing you the malls where you can simply buy some food for traditional markets we will create a separate video and uh, for the grocery malls and the grocery shops and uh, it is the video like this is the video about right this video is about it so also we'll speak about different networks uh, about convenience stores in a, a separate video right so let's check trans studio Bali. okay let's move so here we go again uh, it is also quite a huge area with different sections including electronics home appliances uh, cosmetics food um, different groceries milk and so on and so forth so also it has a butcher and poultry section so you see how big the story is so actually you can spend an hour or two here to choose what you want. And yeah, in this huge mall, maybe it will be quite a noticeable remark, you can buy strong alcohol and strong spirits. So in general, as soon as Indonesia is a Muslim country, uh, alcohol is quite expensive. And uh, you Sometimes we not be able, may not be able to find it in such stores as Alpha Mart or Indomari, but in the, the malls like this, of course, you can find it. Uh, it has also located in different sections. Now we are going to, I'm personally going to the section where beer is sold. I will show you the prices. So from my point of view, the prices are quite high. Um, check my Instagram for the prices on several beers. So this is the beer price. 33 two dollars two dollars well approximately for a cocktail like uh, two dollars also dollar and a half so you can see the variety of drinks this is uh, also mingura mirach it's a kind of a local sweet wine i'm not sure that i will make a video about the local alcohol so but i made it already you can check my instagram about it so yeah that's how it works so let's check the other floors we're going to the second floor, and on the second floor there is a clothing area. And on the third floor of Bali Transmart Gallery of this care for Transmart, uh, it is located some uh, furniture, home appliances, uh, pottery, uh, cat food, uh, and so on and so forth. So let's check, and I will show you what you can buy here. Just a very quick run through the windows and with a uh, stance so i will show you uh what you can buy here a lot of souvenirs soaps uh, sunglasses shoes actually some bags whatever like if you want to buy a souvenir most likely like most likely a tourist will come to the place like this because it has a really huge variety of souvenirs but my recommendation is go to the traditional market first of all you will save a lot of extra cash believe me a lot and what you can buy here is like typical stuff so welcome to bali thank you some you know st uh, st statuettes some uh, useless stuff some pottery so it's like typical for every resort for every holiday island right and of course without this you cannot leave well, of course maybe somebody will buy it not my size okay so let's go to the third floor and i'll show you what's there and after it we go outside uh, this grocery store and i will show you around the mall okay also you can see a lot of clothing Okay, we're going, we're going to the third floor and I will show you the uh, section which is devoted to furniture, home appliances. So here we are coming to the uh, 
trans living section. You see the pottery, furniture, cups, some kitchen appliances. And of course, today is a Saturday night. Oh. Okay. We, 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 we cannot make videos, yeah, right? Make video, you okay. Do it. okay, street security is sad. No filming here because the boss is worried that I'm working for their um, competitors. So I'm coming illegal, guys. Yeah, I'm a criminal. All right, so here we are in the, uh, in the mall itself. I will show you around, okay? Ground floor, there are typical stores and shops for every single mall in the world and also we have here we have here uh, several restaurants and cafes uh, i will also try to make a review about the restaurants and cafes to be more specific check my instagram from time to time i'm making a story with the english subtitles especially for you uh, and i'm making reviews about local restaurants some restaurants are absolutely average and they do not deserve any attention uh, but some people say that here uh, there are the best sushis in Bali. I'm also not sure about it, so probably next videos I will also try to share the experience with you. So keep in touch. The same shops with overskating prices. Prices are wild. Like in the European countries, like in China, in the, at the United States probably. In comparison with the United States, the prices here are cheaper but still lower why well, the prices should be cheaper lower oh my god yeah but you see a lot of different cafes burger shops some closed cafes due to the pandemic and also they have an entertainment zone yeah so if you will go up on this escalator at this moment it is closed at this moment but usually they have a kind of amusement park here it is off uh, I don't know, it is, it costs like something crazy. The main point of this mall is actually the indoor amusement park with roller coasters. You see different statues, so some thematics and amusement park. But the main story is that this park costs some, I don't know, impossible money. For me, it was approximately 800,000 uh, and for Indonesian domestic nationals, it will be like 300,000. And I couldn't get why. So you can actually have a ride on all the amusement machines, but it doesn't make any sense. So actually this, pro this place is usually empty because nobody is going to pay like a million for two people, or two million, approximately like $150 per two people to attend just 12 attractions. So that's how the mall looks like in close perspective. Or from the very close angle. So the same here for, but with the expensive stores, higher prices and so on and so forth. As for me, this mall is very convenient. You now you can go simply inside and buy the goods you need for your everyday life. In every mall, usually they have a, a paid parking slot. So uh, keep, keep that in mind. Moreover, if you go to some stores, some people can also ask you to uh, pay approximately 2,000 per parking lot. So, just simply keep that in mind. The main point of this huge mall is that you can simply go there, have some fun. But what I don't like here, I don't like the restaurants uh, because they're quite typical, they're average, there is nothing specific in this restaurant. No, well, kind like this. But it is my subjective opinion, I'm not trying to actually offend somebody, All right? So, and we're going to the next mall. Another mall we're going to visit today is called Tiara Duwata. It is very old malls, so it was opened in 1986 and it is very popular among uh, local population and of course the prices here in comparison with Care4 or Polytrans Trans Studio are tremendously cheaper and it also has a grocery section, a section for appliances, 
beds, furniture, plus clothing, and so on and so forth. Let's have a closer, closer look. So here is the mall. I'm giving just an overview of this mall. So there's a huge parking area, but it is always full. So what we're going to search here, just for nothing, just for, we're not searching for anything specific. We are going just to show you how this works and how is it arranged. In comparison with Carrefour and Transmart, you can actually buy a car here or go to the local grocery or go to some toy section or uh, buy the clothing. And the prices here in comparison with the other malls will be like 10, 15, 20% cheaper. This mall is quite crowded, as you can see. So a lot of people here and it has also a lot of sections. So you can buy local food, local fruits, local vegetables, plus the appliances, the fish, frozen products. So as a typical mall. Also, they have a skincare corner, um, home corner. You can buy some, you know, jars, pottery, and something else. So I will not compare the prices um, because the administration doesn't allow us to um, make a photo of the prices. Plastic. One interesting fact about Indonesian supermarkets and malls is the following. As soon as Indonesia is a Muslim country, all uh, meat is actually separated into several sections. And meat, which is containing pork, is located usually separately from fish, chicken, beef, or lamb. So this is one of the peculiarities. Also, keep in mind that traditional Indonesian toilets look like this. Almost all malls here in Bali, they have a heat zone. Uh, it depends on the size of the mall and actually uh, there are different amusement parks here, especially for the kids, some playing machines, bumper cars, um, video games and so on and so forth. Actually, what you need to do, you need to go to the counter, ask for the card, top up the card and after it start playing. So it is also really funny and real fun to play with the machines. But at this moment, due to the pandemic, of course, machines partially are closed. It is called Just DIY. Do you see here? 15, 18, 42, 42 for some presents, right? So in Careful previously, the same was already 55, this one, which is called 17 here in care for, it was uh, approximately 50 or 65 or so. So just FIY, this is your mall for grocery and all this stuff. And be prepared for crowds because as I said previously, it is very popular, okay? The same mall uh, in Bali, which is very popular among local people which has all the same characteristics as previous two malls, but it is goddamn cheaper. It's like 20, 30% cheaper. What we found previously in Care4 in Transmart, we were searching for Christmas tree toys. We found in Tiara Diwata, excuse me, seven times cheaper. So Tiara Diwata, this is our mall, but you actually need to know this place. And I will also post the coordinates here just below this video, so here it is. Pasar, Swalayan, Tiara Diwata, supermarket and department store. So, yes. And we're going to the next mall. The last mall we're going to is a hypermart in Ma uh, Mall Bali Galleria. We will also show you how it's all arranged. So yeah, this is Mall Bali Galleria and we're going inside just to show you the hypermarts, so where you can buy some groceries for you. And we're going to the parking area. Uh, I think second floor. And we have a traffic jam. Also, a lot of people inside, for real. So probably tonight is a, I don't know, some magnetic fields, deviations, some uh, sun up skewers or whatever but look at this all floors on the parking area 
are entirely packed up. Even the outside, if you can see, it's all packed up. I have a feeling just that the whole island decided to park in this Bali Galleria. It is actually fantastic. Look at it. So this mall is regarded as one of the hugest here. And they have several uh, lines. And you see it's quite packed up, so it's quite crowded. The same stores, the same prices. They even have cha time here and special galleries. So you can go check it out. We're heading to Hypermart, so a grocery mall. So that is the goal of my video today, to show the main grocery mall in Bali, on the south of the island. Finally, we're at the place. This is Hyper Mart. Also, huge grocery and convenience store, a general store, so you can buy it. You see uh, the souvenirs over there, some cosmetics, the food. We will not go inside, so we will not um, disappoint the security or make them feel tensed. Uh, our goal is to show what's going on, right? So you see a lot of different elements, a lot of stuff. So also check it out in comparison with the other stores. This store is a bit cheaper than uh, here for. It has another policy. And you see a lot of people here also buying some stuff. So yeah, another store. To make a long story short, Dairy Duvata. This one store, which is very popular among the local people. We did the cheapest uh, grocery mall, right? The second go place goes to the Hypermark. The third place goes to the Care 4. And the fourth is going to Politran Studio. So it's up to you to choose. I was just, the goal of this video was just to show you the difference between these stores, the approaches. So all the grocery stores I mean, which are located in the malls are actually more or less the same. And uh, what you can buy a larger variety of food, a larger variety of foods there. So for my point of view, it's very convenient. So you don't need to search for a traditional market. Most likely people in the store, I mean the sellers on the trading ground, so they will speak good English or at least understandable English. And this is quite convenient for people who just came to Bali. They didn't have this sort of orientation period yet. They haven't passed it yet. So yeah. This is very important. Do you guys remember this card from the previous video? So we can also use this card, not only just for paying on the uh, on the tolls, but also uh, to pay for a parking in some uh, malls and uh, general stores. You see, we can use the card to pay for it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Some general remarks about what happened today. First of all, I didn't want to start a conflict with a uh, security officer because, about his prohibition to make videos in the stores because actually it violates the law. Uh, because stores, first of all, are public places. And I can do whatever I like, I can shoot video, I can jump, I can make photos, it's up to me. Another important issue, be very careful about selecting products in the malls. Why? Because first of all, you should check the expiration dates, storing conditions, in most cases they are simply violated. Moreover, they put different labels on it. So, for instance, the expiration date was one, and they simply uh, put another label with another expiration date. Also, some products are actually spoiled, and they actually can feel the smell. And this is the story for another video, but most likely we need to know the legislation procedures, so we should not go uh, deeply into the uh, articles into the laws and so on and so forth. So uh, all about it, right? So in general, that's concluded. Be very careful 
always check the expiration date, always check the storing conditions, always check the markings because in most, in most cases you will not see the ingredients, you will not see the label, right, which contains the information about the product. It will not contain the storing conditions, it doesn't actually contain anything. Um, and that is actually a problem, actually a big problem here because in comparison with the other countries where European countries or the United States or Canada or Russia actually uh, this problem also exists but in smaller scales so that is the announcement right uh, always pay attention to this because you can buy simply small product and um, the store actually knows that they're violating the law they know it because what they do is simply have an expired product and they try to sell it more because this is guys capitalism right we're not speaking about the quality of the products we're speaking about the cash but i think it's enough for today so put likes subscribe or whatever bloggers say in this case not the saran comrades and initial not pass victory will be ours